Saveto is a township of the city of Johannesburg Metropolitan Municipality in Gauteng, South Africa, bordering the city's mining belt in the south. Its name is an English syllabic abbreviation for Southwestern Townships. Formerly a separate municipality, it is now incorporated in the city of Johannesburg Metropolitan Municipality. Suburbs of Johannesburg, George Harrison and George Walker are today credited as the men who discovered an outcrop of the main reef of gold on the farm Langlaute in February 1886. The fledgling town of Johannesburg was laid out on a triangular wedge of Uitwalgro, named Rand Gislagte, situated between the farms Don Fonte to the east, Bram Fonte to the west and Turf Fonte to the south. Within a decade of the discovery of gold in Johannesburg, 100,000 people flocked to this part of the South Afrikaansche Republic in search of riches. They were of many races and nationalities. In October 1887 the government of the South African Republic. Coolies. But the whole area simply stayed multiracial. Soweto was created in the 1930s when the white government started separating blacks from whites. Creating black townships. Blacks were moved away from Johannesburg. To an area separated from white suburbs by a so-called cordon sanitaire which was usually a river. Railway track. Industrial area or highway. This was carried out using the infamous Urban Areas Act of 1923. William Carr, Chair of Non-European Affairs, initiated the naming of Soweto in 1959. He called for a competition to give a collective name to townships dotted around the southwest of Johannesburg. People responded to this competition with great enthusiasm. Among the names suggested to the city council was Quarempanza, meaning Empanza's place, invoking the name of Empanza and his role in bringing the plight of Orlando subtenants to the attention of the city council. The city council settled for the acronym Soweto. The name Soweto was first used in 1963 and within a short period of time. Following the 1976 uprising of students in the township, the name became internationally known. Soweto became the largest black city in South Africa. But until 1976 its population could have status only as temporary residents. Serving as a workforce for Johannesburg, it experienced civil unrest during the apartheid regime. There were serious riots in 1976, sparked by a ruling that Afrikaans be used in African schools there. The riots were violently suppressed, with 176 striking students killed and more than 1,000 injured. Reforms followed, but riots flared up again in 1985 and continued until the first non-racial elections were held in April 1994. In 2010, South Africa's oldest township hosted the final of the FIFA World Cup and the attention of more than a billion soccer spectators from all over the world was focused on Soweto. In April 1904 there was a bubonic plague scare in the shanty town area of Brickfields. The town council decided to condemn the area and burn it down. Beforehand most of the Africans living there were moved far out of town to the farm Clipsprite, southwest of Johannesburg, where the council had erected iron barracks and a few triangular hotments. The rest of them had to build their own shacks. The fire brigade then set the 1600 shacks and shops in brickfields alight. Thereafter the area was redeveloped as new town. Pimville was next to Clip Town, the oldest black residential district of Johannesburg and first laid out in 1891 on land which formed part of Clipsprite Farm. The future Soweto was to be laid out on Clipsprite and the adjoining farm called D. Kloof. In the Zaud Afrikaansche Republic and the subsequent Transvaal colony it was lawful for people of color to own fixed property. Consequently, the township of Sophia Town was laid out in 1903 and blacks were encouraged to buy property there. For the same reasons Alexandra. Gauteng was planned for black ownership in 1912. The subsequent Natives Land Act of 1913 did not change the situation because it did not apply to land situated within municipal boundaries. In 1923 the Parliament of the Union of South Africa passed the Natives lawfully employed and resident within the area of their jurisdiction. Pursuant to this act the Johannesburg Town Council formed a Municipal Native Affairs Department in 1927.
It bought 1,300 Morgan of land on the farm Clips Bright No. 8 and the first houses in what was to become Orlando location were built there in the latter half of 1930. The township was named after the chairman of the Native Affairs Committee, Mr. Edwin Orlando Leak. In the end some 10,311 houses were built there by the municipality. In addition it built 4,045 temporary single-room shelters. In about 1934 James Sofasong K. M. Panza moved to 957 Field Street, Orlando, and lived there for the rest of his life. A year after his arrival in Orlando he formed his own political party, the Sofasong K. Party. He also became very active in the affairs of the advisory board for all.